Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to implement native slash screen in your Flutter application. As you can see, we have YouTube logo and we have different color from that white color that all Flutter application uses once you open them. Now the difference between this splash screen and the Flutter splash screen that you might create using Flutter is the Flutter splash screen will appear once the Flutter engine load. So while it's loading it will show you a white background image so we will change that white background to an actual splash screen now before we get started if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content now let's get started all right now we're not gonna use the main file for this tutorial we're just gonna use the popspec.yml and we will use some assets now let's go to popspec.yml and let's go to the browser and we will use this library flutter native splash and let's copy it from here and paste it in the dev dependencies and click pop get and wait for it to install once installed copy it again but without the number and come here and paste it and take it as this then now inside here we can specify a color and let's go to the browser and it takes hexa color so I will copy this color and I will paste it here sorry alright now we have different property we can specify a color and we can specify an image and the image I will be using is YouTube or assets slash youtube underscore or dot png now before we run the app we have to go to the terminal and we have to run this command flutter pop run flutter underscore native underscore splash colon create and click enter and once this command finish we can run the app now and let's see how it appears all right you can see that it loaded this color However, the YouTube image is so small and that's because I'm using a very small YouTube image and I've created a 400 by 400 dimension YouTube image uh, logo. So let's use it and see how it appear. So let's call 400 this time and let's go back to the terminal and rerun this command. And once finished, let's run again the app all right you can see it better now and this library give us control which platform you want to run so you can say for example ios true but you don't want to run it on android so you can say android false and this means this library would not work on android and we can also specify different color and different images for dark or light mode so for example you can say color underscore dark and we can specify a different color so let's just give it a black color so I guess the black is six zeros and we can specify also image underscore dark and we can specify a different image if we want to but I will specify the same image now if we close the app and go back to the terminal and rerun this command and click enter and wait for it to run then run the app now this time nothing will actually change however if we change the device from light to dark mode it will change so let's test it I will actually close the app and go to the settings developer and dark appearance to yes sorry and let's open it again so if I open it you can see that we have a dark screen now now if you want to you can also specify a different image for example you want the image to fill your uh, entire screen so I've created an image called full underscore YouTube and I will use it the same here full underscore YouTube and I will change this now if we go back to the terminal and run the same app and launch the app now you can see that it's really small and it doesn't appear so what we can do to fix this issue for Android we can say Android 
underscore gravity and we can set it to fill to fill the whole screen and for iOS we can specify iOS content underscore mode and we can specify say this scale aspect fill now if we close the app and go back to the terminal and rerun the command and after it finishes click run now hopefully this time we will see the whole image so let's wait and see and as you can see we can see the whole image now and that was all so thank you guys for watching and if you like the video don't forget to like it and comment down below and subscribe for more flutter content and i will see you in the next video